Do you know what? I, I can't really even say I hate it. I was just... I was left cold. By the book? Yeah, I didn't like the characters. I didn't want to be taken on a tour around Europe looking at art galleries. I, the, the female character, Connie, I despised her! <laughs> I really did. She was so smug. I found her, I found her cold and cruel. Um, but uh, some of it was very well written. The problem with it for me was, I think there were moments where it pinched a bit because of the question of a long-term relationship and, and maintaining, you know, the fire in a long-term relationship and, and the chalk and cheese bits that everybody mm. has in a relationship, do they eventually wear you down? Um, but it, for me, I, I, it, was a, it was a struggle to get to the end. It really, it really was. And okay. it was such a shame because I loved One Day by the, uh, yeah. by the same author. And also I loved, um, I think it was Stage Struck, Stage... I can't remember his other novel. I love both of them. So I was really excited about, about it. But, you know, at the end of the day, it was dull. Do you know what I think? One of I the, didn't like the, being in the man's head. One of the problems, I think, with the book, I think it's missold on the cover. Because they call it a hilarious comedy. Oh, it's a it's romp. Not. It's all this. It's really not. Mm -hmm. And uh, to me, what it's about... One of my favourite sayings is death by paper cuts. And um, what that means is that uh, it's, nev it's never normally one thing that spells the death knell to, to something. It's not normally one traumatic event. It is cut after cut after cut after cut until eventually you are bled dry. And to me, that's what the relationship felt like, that the chalk and cheese of it, um, there's a reason why you don't mix chalk with cheese. It doesn't work. But they, the very things that attracted each other in the first place ended up repelling her. But I think, I I think found chalk it and cheese can work, but it depends what, you know, what's going on. But I, I found the female character very unsympathetic. And she's, uh, she's one of those women, and we've all met them, she thinks that she's really windswept and interesting and arty. arty. Yeah. And he's dependable, and she hates that. Yeah. She I thought hates, he was dreary. She hates his dependability, and I think that's really unattractive in a woman mm. because I think if a man is dependable, that's a really good character trait. But what age do you start well, going to dependable? I mean, then. I don't want to spend two weeks of my life reading about some drab, dependable bloke. <laughs> I'd rather be reading about someone who's exciting and sexy rather than a man who studies fruit flies or whatever he studies. <laughs> I wouldn't have even have gone on a second date with this dreary But, character. Janet, that was one of the things that I think was I so mean, interesting about so the book, was that we, we normally have this perception that the man in the end is going to turn out to be a superhero. And what was so interesting about this was he he never changes. You you kind of well, wait for some heroic thing. You no, go that's through... real life. That's no, real life. No, but the book is not real life. No, it's too but dull. <laughs> no, but I, listen, believe me, I love reading novels. But this is exactly yeah. the kind of novel I've never read in a million years. Aimed at middle class Guardian readers. It's so cosy. <laughs> it was so um, you know everything about it. Going around Europe, they managed to make all these incredible cities in Europe, all these art galleries, and all these mm. cultural experiences that are all dragged down some drab. Level, and, and I was really was annoyed true? that I read this book. Don't you think it was? Really <laughs> did you find it annoying as well? That it was almost really <sighs> prizzy. It was prizzy, like, oh, I won't talk about the sex. Oh, go on. Yeah. You know, you've got. Oh, well, let's oh, no, have some sex. About... That yeah. would have perked it well, up. Come, obviously, we, we asked members of the audience uh, what they thought of the book, and, and Jan. Are you going to take on Janet? Did you enjoy the I book? I agree entirely with Janet. You agree <laughs> with Janet? <laughs> what, what are your thoughts? I thought it was boring. I had to drag myself through every chapter and I gave up in the end. Did you? Yeah. Did you not get to the end? I never got really too much into you. Uh -huh. No. <laughs> a little, oh, line, a little okay. line for the back. It was put down a bull. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you know, I, I, I really enjoyed it and I actually enjoyed it the second time round. Yeah, I actually read it twice. Um, because not giving too much away because we know it's about the breakdown of a relationship but uh, I think watching it break down with the safety of knowing what's happening yeah. at the end I actually enjoyed it more I liked it so give it a go